Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said the punishment is those who did not worship the calf should be killing the ones who have worshipped the calf. Those who did not worship it should kill those who have worshipped it. فَاقْتُلُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ We will get to those ayahs and we will talk in more detail about those ayahs, a specific situation, but here is a general thing that we want to understand. So, now they started killing their relatives, every community, every family started killing those from the family and from the community who worship the calf. And uh, the books of history and Old Testaments, and they say that they killed more than 70,000 people in a short time. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then only they were forgiven. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, sent the verses where informing them that they were forgiven. This is the punishment of a murtad that is stated in Bani Israel. This is not, did not stand in our ummah. Nowadays the whole world is just pointing fingers at Muslims that why do you have the punishment for murtad? This is the punishment of murtad that is from in Torah, in the Old Testament. And it still exists. It is still there in their book that this was the punishment for the murtad. So this is nothing new that is stated in Islam. And we always say Islam is a religion of all the Anbiya. So whatever was there in the previous Anbiya in their deen, there are so many things that continued from there and came into this deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they didn't change. This is one of those people that the person who would become murtad, this punishment for them as we see in Torah and according to their, their sharia, it was that for them to be forgiven, they have to be killed. So that was the punishment for murtad and that is the punishment for murtad in Islam. But the point is, Islam did not start something new. It was there in those religions before Islam. So if it was in Judaism, then of course it was in Christianity also because Christianity did not have new code of life. So the same code of life, either they accept that they still existed or according to many of them, no, all the codes of life was, were, were abrogated and the religion only means to believe in Jesus dying for you and the blood of Jesus and that's all that what religion is based on, then of course that's a whole different story. <clears throat> 